Hello, it's me, the that, and today I have a new video for you guys. Uh, this time was a different um, e custom firmware for the um, PS Vita's PSP emulator. Um, I'm still at firmware 2.02, and I'm using the Uno exploit. Um, I will keep the R button pressed so it will boot into the Pro Recovery Shell. This one should be known. Um, this is just the uh, emergency menu. If I press start, it will boot the game. So that's um, pretty much the um, ARC. It's called ARC. The it's pretty much the pro custom firmware for the PS Vita. It's slightly faster than the um, TNE custom firmware. Um, its main well, default menu is um, the Y menu, but mostly, um, yeah, I guess you could also use other menus. Um, I haven't figured out the exit combo for the games yet, but maybe select. Yeah, I still don't know how to return to the menu. It was it was very smart of the guys to not write it into the readme um, file. So yeah, we have to wait for an answer. Um, I will just reboot the exploit. This time not into the recovery menu. Usually it's booting into the Y menu, which looks like this. Um, yeah, the Y menu is pretty well known, um, but I guess it should be possible to use another menu as well. Well, you have your default path, MS Zero, PSP game for the homebrews and the PS1 game. Then you can press the press up or down button for accessing or leaving folders. And in your ESO folder, there are, yeah, the games. Um, this is a dot .cso game so it should take longer to load it but the pro custom firmware should be very fast so let's boot it And it is very fast. This is a compressed CSO game and it's still very very fast loading. That's good work from the pro team. Um, it's up to you if you want to use the um, TNE custom firmware or the ARC E custom firmware by the pro team. Um, 
the download for ARC for the Firmware 2.00, 2.01 and 2.02 is down in the description. Have fun and I'm the that and see you soon.